Hi, this is uh, Dr. Kang's scuba diving story. And today's story is about the deep stop. Um, this is something that almost every technical divers already do on their ascent. And some uh, recreational divers as well. But uh, we'll see if it is really uh, needed or if it is really good for divers and there's some controversies there so uh, deep stop is called the pile stop because uh, Richard Pyle first experienced this and from empirical uh, result he began to do this and he spread the word to his uh, fellow divers and now it is uh, it's like a routine uh, stop on uh, on all ascent and how we do it and uh, we see if there's any either clinical or diving related significance and try to uh, draw some conclusion uh, it's called the pile stop because uh, this gentleman he was a ichthyologist, marine biologist from Hawaii uh, in mid 1990s or late 1990 um, he had some uh, very interesting experience he was collecting some fish specimen from deep water and he actually found quite a few new fish species. Um, he compared lots of his diving profile and sometimes he felt tired. Sometimes he felt much less tired. So what was it? So when he collected no specimen, he had to make a routine deco stop ascent but when he caught some specimen to um, to relieve air from fishes swim bladders he had to stop and he somehow vent the air from the bladder and then he kept on uh, arising <laughs> so um, when he compared the two profile he found out that when he made some of the stops to do uh, to vent the fishes to swim bladders air he felt much less tired so he thought well why not and he he did all he did he did this on all his dives and also he spread the words to his uh, colleagues and eventually after about 30 years this became a routine stop after a deep technical diving so uh, how uh, does it how do we do it uh, this is uh, this is calculation of pile stops um, when you go down to the 60 uh, and we stay down there like uh, like 20 minutes instead of just making the routine deco stops he made uh, several deep stops uh, look at the recreational level this if uh, we do a recreational diving this is uh, like 30 meter and all the way up to 5 meter we make slow ascent and then we take 3 minutes safety stop and then we come back up uh, when we do a uh, dip stop, it becomes like a 30 meter dip stop one, dip stop two, and safety stop and the surface. So we'll see how uh, how we do it. Stop depth and duration depends on the dive time and depth. Uh, must be shallow enough to allow gas elimination but also deep enough to reduce bubbling 
So long and deep dives require a deeper stop. There are some softwares uh, on the market that also some computers uh, showing how to do it. So in technical diving, how they do it? Usually the first stop is at 80% of uh, atmosphere absolute. For example, if he made the first, if he made the deepest dive at, uh, let's say, uh, uh, to make a calculation easy, uh, 30 meter, then it's uh, 4 ATA, and 80% will become 3 ATA, which is like 20 meters. So it usually is very similar to 75% of maximum depth. So how long uh, they stay there? It's uh, 2 to 3 minutes. Somebody say just 2.5 minutes. And uh, in recreational level, it's a little different. Uh, first stop at 75% of ATA. Uh, pretty close to 50% uh, percent of maximum depth. But when it gets deeper and deeper, there is some uh, difference between uh, ATA and uh, depth percentage numbers. And also, in recreational diving, do we really do 2.5 minutes stop at deep stop? Uh, if you are very close to no decompression limit, maybe it's a better idea for you to do 2 to 3 minutes deep stop. If it was not, in in diving that we usually do, we stayed at the deepest steps for five, six, seven minutes, and then we arise to 20, we spend time there, and then up to 10, and then five for a safety stop. This is like almost automatically done. We don't really think about deep stops. But if we go down to the deepest steps and we do something there, even within no decompression limit, then uh, maybe deep stop for two to three minutes should be necessary. Uh, there's uh, something they call minimum deco dive. Instead of making mm, nine minute, I'm sorry, nine meter per minute, in here, uh, I can't explain everything, but in here, um, it's like a three meter per minute. And how we do it, it's, uh, we, as we ascend the three meters in 30 seconds, and we stay there for 30 seconds, and then we do the same thing on up and up. So it's instead of a nine meter per minute, it becomes uh, three minutes per minute, which is very slow. And this is how I try to do. So when only me and my wife, we, we dive together, we do this. But when there's other people around with uh, one or two guys, you know, can't really follow our way of ascent. But this is something that technical divers do now. Okay, the significance uh, about deep dive. U.S. Navy Experimental Diving Unit. Who? <laughs> they did experiment with a 400 air dive at uh, 170 feet. It's like 52 meters for 30 minutes. Everybody uh, had the same deco time. 200 with deep stop and the rest of 200 without the deep stop. Surprisingly, there were more decompression sickness episodes following deep stop. This is not the only experiment done, but this is the biggest number of dives done by human being, and this has some uh, significance in it. Uh, there are many other tests doing this in chambers, uh, using animals and um, some report um, there's much less bubbles some report no difference some report 
say, ah, oh, there's less uh, bubbles. So still, it's not really clear if deep stop uh, helps reducing the post dye bubbles. So the significance. Should we do the dip stop or not? Um, it is quite an issue yet, uh, after 30 years. Computer profile, with or without dip stops. There are some with, there are many without yet. But in technical diving uh, specific computers, they all have, uh, almost all have dip stop uh, profile. Uh, scientific research still lacking in <coughs> improving the efficacy of deep stop, um, especially in recreational diving. So, however, uh, on the field, divers feel deep stop works, so why not? Conclusion so far, this is something that I cannot conclude. I've been, uh, I've been looking for many, many articles, and uh, this is uh, what I thought was conclusion, okay? This is uh, what Dr. Peter Bennett said in, uh, in his uh, article. No need to argue now, because it's already widely accepted, like a safety stop did at the beginning. So go ahead, do it, you know. Tech divers, deep divers, do it. Recreational, recreational dives. You may do it if you want to do it, especially when you dive deeper than 30 meters. Um, I say in recreational diving, forget it. Because already, um, most of the dives are done pretty similar to this. So instead of just uh, you know, having a feeling that I have to do it, uh, recreational diving is already very safe. So I would like to leave it to technical divers field only. That's my, my opinion. So today uh, we looked at uh, deep stop, pile stop. Uh, we looked at how we do it, uh, some significance and conclusion. So deep stop is something that divers should be very interested about. And whether you do it or not, it's uh, all up to you. Thank you for listening and thank you for forgiving my English.